What better way to celebrate your 100th birthday than to play host to a provincial championship golf tournament? Well, we always love coming back to uh, traditional golf courses where there's not a big distance between tee and green. They're easily walkable. It's a tree-lined golf course. Um, so if you keep it in the fairway, it's, uh, it's very playable. But if you uh, spray it a little bit offline, you're going to find your ball uh, generally, but uh, your recovery shots are going to be a little bit more difficult. 50 players are playing the BC Amateur, with 11 of those also competing in the Mid-Amateur Championship for age 25 and over. The first round was played in warm but ideal conditions, which was reflected in some of the scores. Seven came in under par, led by Surrey's Taylor Kim. The NCAA Kent State University sophomore shot a 6-under 67 in a round that included seven birdies and a bogey. My irons were working really well today. A um, couple of the wedge chances, birdie chances that I had, I stuck them probably inside six feet all day, and I made all the putts, so I felt good about my short game, wedge game, and I kept the fairway all the time, and it was hot today, so I stayed hydrated, and I, yeah, it was, it was good today. I didn't start off that well. I started off with back-to-back -back bogeys on holes that were initially, I thought, birdie holes, but um, I bounced back on the front nine with two birdies, so I was even par. Uh, in the back nine, you know, um, my, t my shots off the tee weren't ideal. They were pretty much in the trees every single hole, but I, I, I scrummaged for par for most of them, but I, I didn't have any birdies, so two bogeys. So, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't magical, like I said, but, you know, yeah. there's three more days, and, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with the way I'm hitting the ball. I played pretty well today. I made a lot of putts, which was nice coming off of last week where I left a few out there. But I was hitting fairways and hitting greens, which helped a lot. So it gave me a lot of opportunities to score today. The players are competing for the Flummer Felt Cup presented annually since 1893 to the Women's Amateur Champion Golfer of British Columbia. The record for most wins belongs to Violet Pooley, who won the BC Championship nine times in the early 20th century. Second on that list is Kamloops Sports Hall of Famer Marilyn Palmer, winner of the Flummer Felt Cup eight times including four consecutive from 1971 to 1974. She learned the game right here on this very course where her father was the club pro. In more recent years, Port Alberni's Christina Proto has been a dominant player, winning the BC Amateur three times and the Mid Amateur three times, with both titles to her credit in 2011. The Flummerfeld Cup is also dotted with names who have gone on to play and win on the LPGA Tour. We've had uh, winners like Donko Jones and uh, uh, people that have gone on to star on the LPGA Tour. A.J. Ethorn is a past winner. So the, the, the trophy itself is just something really to marvel at and, uh, and a great thing to take a look at. And with, of course, playing to par 73 for the amateur, Taylor Kim, 6-under, has a two-shot lead over Christina Proto. 14-year-old Alicia Lau and Aram Choi are tied for third, three shots back. Uh, Naomi Ko, the winner of last week's BC Junior Girls Championship of the Dunes, shot a 172 in round one. Christina Proto has won the mid-amateur three of the last five years and could be on her way to another one at four under. Proto has a six-shot lead after the first round in the team competition, the team championship. Zone six comprised of uh, Proto and Shelley Stufer are well ahead of two under with a combined 144 for a seven-shot lead.